What is happening, y'all? Welcome back, and I have finally decided on what we're going to be doing. So, after looking at everything, I settled on the Prometheus class. Now, this is the one that focuses around dodging and parrying. Um, we're going to be using the Hanakamuru, the Katana, with the Impaler as our backup. Uh, we have B plus decks on this. We have B decks on this. We work in Nightclaw, which has A scale rating in decks. As for our passes, we're going to be running Health Boost, uh, Deft Parry, which this will fully restore stamina on a parry, Savvy Evasion to help build up our focus, and then Sharpen Fangs, because if I'm going to be parrying and dodging to get in backstabs, that's obviously going to be a huge boost. Um, as for our abilities, we got Blade Dance, Lightning Weapon, Flame Weapon, and then Phantom Assault. So I tested Phantom Assault compared to Shadow Assault. Phantom Assault uh, does more damage, and it costs less Iker. So kind of just a straight out win there. Also tested out Adrenaline versus Blade Dance. Uh, I was getting more damage out of Blade Dance. And the thing that's really interesting, watch this. So I have Lightning, right? 773. I don't know if this is a bug or not. Um, normal attack, 644, okay? Now we use Fire, 773. Now, we add lightning on top of fire. 902. And if you use that with blade dance. Yeah, you can do a lot of damage really fast. Uh, the thing that's interesting about blade dance is as long as that buff is up every hit tends to increase your damage. So what I mean by this is, you know, we're doing 644, 644. Now, if I put on Blade Dance, 678, 775, 872, 969. And this just keeps getting higher and higher and higher as long as that buff lasts. And with a multi-hit attack, like the katana's heavy, eventually you get to a point where a single Y attack is doing 1646. Um, so yeah, I think I'm, I'm very happy with how uh, this loadout will work. I'm officially buying it. I'm gonna level up my gear. This is what we're gonna go with. Uh, I like the other spear. Interestingly enough, this spear actually has better deck scaling. I really like the move set of the Impaler more, so I don't know. I'll see. Maybe I do like that it kind of has a special move set to it. Um, first things first. I line up my decks. Nightclaw two, Nightclaw three. Uh, we'll use up our steel. That's good. Now we're going to upgrade our... What am I low on? Haze needed, haze available. Oh, I need steel to upgrade either of those. Well, I have some of this. Let me upgrade this and see how this compares. Haze needed, haze available. Son of a bitch. Uh, what would you go up to? At three, you would go up to 374 physical. And... Damn, 462. This thing is just so good. I mean, this thing has a a, a pretty unique move set, but it just does. This thing just claps. Uh, so anyway, thinking about where we left off, and uh, he was talking about the snowy mountain, but I don't know how the hell to get to the snowy mountain. So instead, we are going to head back on out. Um, is what's her face around here? She hasn't woken up yet. Maybe she's down sleeping. No, I'll bring what's his face along. He serves as a good tank. So we are going to teleport uh, to the decayed ship interior, and we're going to continue on from there.
2693 on a backstab. That's pretty disgusting. I did try out the one class. If I'm playing as a the supporty class, uh, this ranger, I, I get a base mobility of quick, but I don't think it's worth it. Cause well, so I get I get quick mobility with my katana and then normal with the spear, and the spear is gonna be my my go-to for when I'm surrounded, just cause I can keep enemies at bay and you know, poke my way to victory. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I'd rather just have the same mobility with either weapon. You know, it's like a consistency thing. Yeah, and the spear has pretty gross stagger potential as well. All right, I don't know if everything is going to go all ape shit and attack us. That guy just suicided. No, he didn't. He hopped off. He's going to come up here. Well, I don't see his ass. Let's go. Oh god. This cast is to you soon enough. That's the one big benefit of playing like caster. I could those assholes that want to keep spamming shit that are far away. Mark Seeker Vestige A. Well, now I can actually. <laughs> I barely went farther, and I now have access to Dark Seeker. Watch, I like look at that, and it's just way better than what I was already playing. All I'll say is if Dark Seeker has some shit where it's like, you know, as you uh, drain people, you steal health from them, it's it's done. Like, that's an immediate pick for me. Oh, God. The attack is a lot slower than I thought it would be to get going. Something to I need I need some kind of range damage ability. Because otherwise I'm gonna die to bullshit like this. Oh, 
Oh god, that sucked. Um, was there more to that zone? Thought there was. Just jump down to check. I also wonder if gifts are worth more to certain people. I feel like that's usually a thing in games like this. Yeah, so this can go back pretty deep. Pistol. Hello? You look like a regular old rest mistal too, which is great. Because I'm out of healing. And that's a boss arena, for sure. So let's go back up top. This will actually be a good test of the, the new thing. I do think I might... I don't know. I like the idea of parrying to get back all of my stamina, but at the same time, it's like super risky business in boss fights. I feel like going through this whole parry animation, I feel like I'd get back most of my stamina just, you know, while that move executes. I guess I could use that as my mobility. seems so good sometimes though that dude did it was like boom boom he's doing combo gun attacks on me Help it unlock that uh, other thing, that dark whatever class. See what that's all about. What am I doing? Stop that. Um, boss was over this way, right? One thing I don't like about the spear is it's a running slash. Why is it not a running thrust?
Yeah, for that cost, I might as well go fire and lightning. Alright, so I can put up all of my buffs. It's a tree. It's a tree thing. It's a big angry boy it's looking like. I was busy teleporting behind your ass. Things got a little, a uh, little iffy at the end there, but super katana slashes just melted his ass. Why don't we get out of it? Like a, like a heavy. Double bit axe that glitters a dull gold. Tyrant's Labrys. Looks cool. I like the moveset change, because this is kind of like this Vihander moveset, but it's with an axe. Does he have a full spin to win? No, it does a big old smash. Oh, that's that's neat. Man, what a diff like just the sheer difference of having upgraded gear though, that was insane. Still have plenty of heals left. Just dunked all over that thing. それで次はどこに連れてってくれるんだ。どうした？ここの地脈は旧市街地に繋がってるらしい。は？え、ちょっと待てよ。地脈は旧市街地からここに繋がってたはずだろう。
だよ俺は間違いねえ気をつけろハンターだ一緒にいる女は仲間なのか It looks like he has half of someone else's face. I stabbed the breastuses. Those are real vampire powers. They're actually turning into mist and fading and shit. Y'all just a bunch of posers with swords. Dark Seeker features many battle ready gifts specializing in those that deal with venom. This does sound like it could be a really cool class. Ooh, a lot less health. Some decks, mostly mind and willpower. I'll have to check it when we get back. I think I should be collecting beads off these trees or something. Much after doing all that and upgrading and whatnot, I just switched to Dark Seeker in the next episode. Be like, yeah, so this that we're playing is Dark Seeker. And uh poison is really cool. <laughs> The snowy region next. Nicola! 